Alright, so this is my Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep talk, part two. Um, already talked a little bit about it. I think it's a good game. And uh, I don't know that if it's because I'm on proud expert super mega mode that everything's so freaking hard, but that is a very difficult mode. For the completionists out there, there are uh, extra bosses at the end that you don't have to fight, uh, but I, I want to fight and beat. And they are just really, really hard. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm going to have to look up some strategy guides or videos or something to see what uh, people are doing to beat these people. But uh, I enjoyed it. The only, you know, there's a few complaints I had. Uh, Ventus. In order to beat Ventus's mode, <laughs> you have to do this stupid mini game, and I hate that. I hate when games make you do some sort of mini game, um, because it really takes you out of you know, really uh, takes you out of your comfort zone. I mean, not everyone's going to be good at that stuff, and I wasn't. It took me forever to get this stupid game down, and f you have to get like a really good score to pa to proceed. You, it should be like you get three fails in a row and they just count it or something. So I didn't I didn't enjoy that part. Um, if you're a completionist, it's going to take a while. You're going to just have to get a guide of where everything is because there's a lot to explore. Um, unlocking all the abilities for the characters actually is a little bit more tedious than I thought. I do like that idea, but I just think that could have been a little bit easier to do um, than it is. The Mirage Arena, if you are a completionist, <sighs> once again, I don't like that you have to play these command boards in order to uh, gain levels uh, faster. Or Well, you, you kind of have to do it in order to get this super mega keyblade thing. I, I don't even know what it does, I just know I want it. I'd rather hunt in the game for synthesis items, to be honest, uh, uh, than to do something like this, but I'm doing it. Uh, other than that, there really isn't too many complaints I have with this game. I think that it's um, a very good, great, I want to say great storyline. The ending was totally worth it. Uh, I don't like the okay. One last complaint. I don't like that they where they hid Terra's um, Zen art report, and I'll go ahead and spoil that for you. And the reason I'll spoil it for you because there's no way you would ever know. It's in the Mirage Arena. You have to play the Mirage Arena as uh, Terra, and you have to beat um, a number of arena events to unlock it. Uh, I think three or four. Uh, you have to achieve a certain level to unlock it. That's lame. Why? It, it, it's not part of the storyline. Don't put it there. Uh, you know, so... I really... I guess they were just trying to get you to go see it, but, you know, just put it somewhere else. It's it's very uh, annoying. Uh, that's really the, the largest grumble. Uh, somebody brought up that this shouldn't have been on PlayStation 2. It should have been on, you know, DS or... Um, PlayStation 2. Uh, it shouldn't have been on PSP. Um, well, obviously, they're not going to make it for PlayStation 2, I don't think. Uh, I don't think it would have fit on the DS, because it's a pretty big, pretty big game and graphics are intense. Um, I don't know why they didn't release it to a home system, but it's a pretty short game, so that might have been the reason. Uh... I'm uh, looking. I'm looking forward to the next Kingdom Hearts games, especially after watching this ending. It's just brilliant. This story is really engaging, really interesting. Actually, leaves you with a lot of questions. So it was like, oh wait a minute. Oh, those guys become. Oh, I know this. You know, and it's kind of like the pieces are falling together. But there's just still a few unresolved uh, strings of of questions that you have after this game. And like I said, Aqua really uh, takes on, or maybe I didn't say it, but Aqua really takes on the protagonist role at the end of the game. Uh, she's the one that can have the most amount of health. Uh, she's the one that has 
Um, the widest uh, varieties of things that you can do. Well, that's not really true. Everybody does, but uh, I think you're meant to take down these extra bosses with her. So that's what I'm going to do, or try to do. Right now, I'm having her run in a circle that so she levels up because I keep getting beaten by everything. <laughs> so yes, EXP Walker for the win. I'll go do other things while she levels up. <laughs> Um, so Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, if you're a fan of the series, I'd definitely say, of course, you should have it already, and if you're not, and you have a PSP, I think it's a good role-playing game title. I miss the platforming, I gotta say, I really miss the platforming, this is, uh, pretty much been absent since, well, Kingdom Hearts 2 had some, but they, they've been lessening and lessening the amount of platforming, and pretty much no puzzles. It's just a straight story and beat things up now. And that's okay, but I really do miss those aspects of the game. I, I don't, I do hope that they'll bring them back. No gummy ship, which I think is good. And having the mini games there is fine as long as you don't make any of them required to beat the game. Uh, so that's, that's really all. Uh, final, final verdict, I'd say 9 out of 10. Uh, almost perfect. Those few things that I have grumbles about retract from it being perfect. So, I think the next game due out, uh, will be Recoded, which will pick up the end of this storyline, and, uh, go into the Kingdom Hearts 3D, and Man, when are we going to get Kingdom Hearts 3? <laughs> I think that they um, are thinking that Kingdom Hearts 3 will be the final thing in this series. I, I'm not sure. So, But at any rate, I look forward to those games. Take care.